NRCs could be low based on those assumptions by a thousandfold. Um, another way of coming at the data is to use it. the industry hired a guy named John Daniel um, <coughs> to go up against me in court. This was during the trial. And Daniel magically calculated 10 million curies. Well, when he listed his assumptions, I went back through the assumptions and using his assumptions correctly, I came up with 150 million. Well, then Daniel came back and the judge let him redo his expert report and the industry's number is now 17 million curies released. Well, this puts the NRC in an interesting position because the guardian of public health and safety has the lowest estimate on the totem pole for what was released from the accident. Even the industry is almost twice as high. Their own experts are three times as high. And in fact, if you look at the data uh, and all of the non-conservative assumptions, it can easily be on the order of a thousand times higher than the NRC's estimate, which puts you at around a billion curies. Now, there's another way of getting at that also. Um, Dr. Wrightblatt, a couple slides back, the guy, the structural engineer on the containment, said that about 10% of the, uh, the material inside the containment leaked. Um, but Dr. Akers, which was an industry expert, said there was 10 billion curies in the containment. Okay, Dr. Akers said there's 10 billion curies inside the containment. 10% of that's around a billion. So, Akers number, this is an industry guy, this isn't me. An industry guy says 10 billion, a tenth of it got out by right black puts you at around a billion curies, not 10 million that the NRC is, is advertising on the website. Um, okay, we're good. Now, uh, I have two slides to go, so we're almost done. Uh, recently, um, recently released <coughs> records uh, from Hershey Chocolate um, were provided in a book by Helen Caldicott, Dr. Caldicott, in a book, Nuclear Power is Not the Answer. Um, she has She's quoting Hershey data in her book that shows that iodine-131 was measured in cow's milk 150 miles away from Midtown. Well, 10 million curies at the NRC website doesn't get you to being able to detect iodine 150 miles out. Um, I haven't seen uh, the, the hard copy of, of her report, uh, but she's quoting like five, four, five, six Hershey internal documents. Um, we all know, and it was publicized, that Hershey froze milk. Um, and that was a good, prudent business decision. But Hershey had data, apparently, by Dr. Caldicott, Hershey had data that would have been helpful to the civilians in the area uh, to let them know that, in fact, the plume was out at 150 miles. Um, that's pretty significant because this time of year, grass doesn't grow very fast. So the cows were on silage which meant that they were probably getting the iodine as an inhalation dose as opposed to eating it out of the grass. Um, anyway, this stuff rolls into um, the future of nuclear power, which I wanted to talk about on this slide. Um, if, if you believe that only 10 million curies got out, um, the NRC has made that sort of gospel in something called the alternate source term. And uh, they've, um, it, it has allowed power plants to reduce the amount of radiation which they claim to release, which then turns it around, and then they can increase the power. So a lot of plants have gone through power upgrades as a result of Three Mile Island because the NRC is allowing them to say, well, a lot less radiation got out than, than, um, than we thought. So they've lowered the source term, which has allowed them to crank up the power so they get back to where they were. But in fact, um, if, you, if, if you don't believe the NRC is 10 million curious, then the alternate source term and all these power increases is in fact wrong. Um, there's also uh, less robust containments are planned for the next uh, generation reactors on the basis of how well TMI survived it. But I think the data doesn't show that TMI <coughs> survived it. And finally, um, there's a lot of consideration about collapsing evacuation zones or even eliminating evacuation zones based on the success of TMI, and, and I really question that. So my conclusion is that I think that the, uh, the numbers on the NRC's website are wrong, and they're wrong by between a factor of 100 and a factor of 1,000. Um, if everything, all these non-conservatives build up, it could be off by 10,000, but I don't think some of these have to go. 
the other way. So between a, a hundredfold and a thousandfold increase from where um, the NRC's website is. And I also conclude that the containment failed after the hydrogen detonation. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to pass it back to Andy, and we'll take questions after Dr. Afterwards.